Hey friends, it's Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a week in the life of someone who has two jobs, who is trying to build a YouTube channel, who has a social life and who is also trying to get fit and lose a bit of weight. Thank you for joining me. So it is currently two o'clock on Monday. Um, just got home from work. I got hailed on on the way home from work. It was not fun. I don't know what is up with this weather today. It's fucking crazy. Normally, my work week actually starts on a Sunday, but I only decided to do this week in a life vlog today while I was at work. So let's see what we have in store this week. Um, I'm just about to make a smoothie because that's what I'm having. Um, I'm waiting for a food shop to arrive in an hour or two. I will show you what we've got to eat. The reason why I'm attempting to lose some weight, if you were here in February, I also attempted it and failed quite spectacularly. But I think I'm feeling a bit better to do it now because we'd like to lose these jowls that we have here. This um, double chin we got going on, it's not too great. And also there's, you can't see. Yeah. Like, like. This looks kind of fine. It's when I pull that down there, and then you see this bit here, thanks to my surgery, that bit, not a fan of. So we'd like to lose a little bit of fat if it's possible. And I have been trying to do this the rest of this month, um, but again, have kind of failed. I think I realize the reason why I find it so hard to cut down on food, and alcohol um, is because I'm quite unhappy with life at the moment, which, you know, is a great way to start a vlog. Um, like I do work two jobs. If you've been here for a while, you know that. One is in a hotel and then the other one I do working from home and the hotel job, nah, not feeling it anymore. Really not feeling it. But unfortunately, I'm in no position to leave that job at the moment and I can't find another one. Again, at the moment I have looked that works around my working from home job. And that job is just zero hours contract and they won't give me a full-time contract. So yeah, we're just trying to be a bit more positive. I always hate people that complain about their jobs and don't do anything about it. Like obviously I complain about this job and you know, it's tiring, whatever, but I've never hated it in the nearly five years that I've worked there. I've never hated it until now. And it's not the actual job, it's some of the people. It's quite taxing mentally, not feeling comfortable in a place where I've never felt uncomfortable before. So yeah, we're gonna try and work on that a bit this week. Um, just trying to be a bit more positive and yeah, focus on ourselves because you know, there are worse things in life than people not liking you or you not liking people. There are worse things. I've been through worse things. <laughs> So Monday is my um, filming Sims videos day. I've been trying to get into a routine where I film on Monday and then I edit Tuesday and Wednesday. So that's what we will be doing later. I might wait until my food shop has arrived to do that, just so I'm not like stopped in the middle of doing it. Um, I've been trying to obviously keep on top of housework as well, which as you can see has not been wholly successful. Those have been dry for days. So we're gonna put those away today. And yeah, this week we're just gonna, we're just gonna have some fun. I've got um, friends' birthdays going to on Saturday, which I will only bring you along for a little bit, but I will bring you along for the present buying because I need to go buy some presents for them. I have no idea what I want to buy. Yeah, let's get on with this smoothie now. So as usual, we start with a pot of spinach because spinach is good for you. And I've got this tropical smoothie mix. It's not that great. I kind of wish I had nicer things, but I will have nicer things that come in my food shop today. <laughs> if you've watched my channel before, you'll know I was on the lookout for some new protein powder. Well, I picked this up because the last one I had was my protein and honestly, oh, it was disgusting. It was chalky. That was the taste. But this, this is the French vanilla flavour. It's pretty delicious. It doesn't have that chalky taste. It has a very strong vanilla taste, which I don't mind. But yeah, so this is the new protein powder that we're working on. And then I forgot that I had these from my mum, collagen food supplements. These are supposed to take like four with water at bedtime, 
but the tablets are really big so i can't take really big tablets like that's a big tablet for me to take so i'm gonna empty four of these into here and i don't know if taking collagen actually makes a difference but there's no harm in trying and some water Oh, I'm getting better at getting like a perfect pint glass full. <laughs> All right, I'll give this a little taste. Yeah, that smoothie mix, the frozen fruit, doesn't have a lot of flavour to it. I think it's like mango and papaya. I think with some lime, this would be delicious, but I don't have any. I do have some arriving in my food shop though, so I will show you my food shop when it arrives. But for now, I'm going to drink this. Tidy up a bit and just chill. Okay, so food shop is here. And as usual, fills me with so much anxiety, it is ridiculous. And that guy, that guy was a bit weird. Normally they just put the boxes down and then they empty it as fast as possible, but he was holding it, so that was even more awkward. Um, so yeah, let me show you what we have. Caesar salad mix, because Caesar salad is the best salad that there is. We have daffodils. Let me pop these in some water. Here we are, pint glass of daffodils. And then I've, I've been really craving, like, it sounds really posh, and like a meze platter. You know, like hummus, and pita bread, and dippy things, and picky. I, I want a picky tea, basically. I want a picky tea. So we have picky tea things. We have some pimento olives some hummus. I did order falafel as well, but they didn't have any of those, so no falafel. Halloumi, um, chipolatas. That sounded very posh, chipolatas. Um, some cheesy coleslaw. Some um, stuffed peppers. Um, some cheese, because I've not had any cheese in my house for a while, and it makes me sad. Cucumber, some ham. These are good to just snack on. Nice like protein snack. I did order bacon medallions, so without fat on. But again, they didn't have that either. So they sent me fancy extra special bacon, which I'm not too mad at, to be honest. Um, and then some meatballs and some cooked and peeled prawns. Um, we've got some fake lime, and chocolate, because even if I am trying to eat healthy, your girl still needs to have some chocolate. And these are only 96 calories a bar, and they do satisfy my chocolate craving. Wholemeal pitties. Protein things. Some, um, like, white rolls. Because at my friend's house the other day and we had these Linda McCartney mozzarella burgers and they're fucking lovely so I'm gonna have a burger one day um I think those were on an offer to get something else and I got some of these little pizzas mainly just for like a quick snack if I can't be bothered to to cook if I'm tired, whatever. One of these, 228 calories, not bad. And I've got salady stuff still left over from my last shop, so I can have that with some veg. And yeah, I just wanted something in the freezer that's kind of quick if I'm not in the mood to cook. Blueberries. Mango. Hash browns. Because I'm also really craving having bacon, egg, hash browns in a protein thin bagel. So we will be having that at some point. Which probably isn't necessarily like the healthiest thing. Like it's probably quite high calorie, but it's also going to be high protein, which is good. Which we're just trying to up our protein intake, basically. And also not denying ourselves food, which we enjoy, because I won't stick to this and I'll go back to one in takeaways all the fucking time. So then I also got some more eggs, milk, 
um, diet energy drinks for work because I do struggle at work without one of those. But I'm hoping, you know, eating better, feeling better, exercising, sleeping better means I won't be as tired and won't need those. And then I got some diet lemonade. I am actually a diet drink fan anyway. I'm not a full fat, full sugar um, drink like Diet Coke. A crispy, a crispy DC is is good. And then protein, wheat vix from breakfast. So I'm gonna put all this away now. Now you're probably thinking, you're trying to be all healthy now. There's not really a lot of veg there, Lindsay. Well, true. But also, I still have sweet potatoes, courgette, baby sweet corn. We've got salad. You know, these are veg. I don't know if they count as one of your five in veg day, but that's it. Yes, I do keep my chocolate in the fridge because I like it to be crunchy. I also still have plenty of frozen veg and I also have the uh, bolognese that I made that has like, I don't know, eight vegetables in it. I might do like a pasta bake this week with one of those. So now that's all the way. And it was actually early. Like it was meant to be between, arrived between four and five. And it's now four o'clock. So I think it is time to film some Sims videos. This is my setup. It is extremely, extremely low tech. Like you don't need lots of fancy equipment to make YouTube videos. I would love to be able to buy myself an actual PC, a proper mic would be good. But for now, this is what we're working with. So that is an episode of my Rags to Riches Legacy Challenge, Rags to Rains, all filmed. I normally like to film for about an hour or so, and then when I edit it, it will be about 20 minutes-ish. Um, it is 10 past five, and your girl is hungry, so I might stop and eat before I do my 100 baby challenge video. So here we have the dinner of my dreams. I have been craving this for so long. So here we have rockin' spiced meatballs in a wholemeal pita bread with cucumber, lettuce, and there's some hummus in there. We have halloumi, stuffed peppers, cheesy coleslaw, olives and feta. Honestly, I'm so excited to get this in my face. That food was honestly so good, so good. Probably looked, maybe looked like a lot of food, but I've only eaten two wheat vix and a smoothie today. So yeah, now it's time to film my 100 baby challenge episode. Something weird that I've noticed while doing vlogs is that I like to stick my arm up quite a lot. Is that a vlogger thing? Have I learned that from someone? I don't know, it's a bit weird, but hey -ho. <laughs> So that's both of my YouTube videos for the week filmed. That last one was pretty stressful. If you don't know, the 100 baby challenge is where you have one matriarch and she plans to have 100 babies with as many different fathers as is possible. And um, my matriarch Rowan gave birth to her 31st and 32nd child in this episode. And then four of her eldest children died. So that was not stressful at all. The 100 baby challenge is almost stressful. But weirdly, it's stress I enjoy. It's not like real life work <laughs> stress. <laughs> so now I'm just going to chill, watch some TV for a bit. I think I've got a James Turner YouTube video to watch. So I'll probably watch that. Eat one of those Dairy Milk chocolate bars things. And yeah, I'll do that until it's time to go to bed and read a book for a bit. So. I'm just getting ready for bed now and trying to decide what book I should read. So last night I finished this, which was pretty good. It kept me very entertained. I love a thriller like James Patterson. I do love him. They're not hard books to read. They're very easy to read and they keep me enthralled. So I do have a pile of books. Um, that I'm halfway through reading. I haven't actually started that one, but 
I've started all three of these. This one, I don't like. I didn't like it got to a point where they were like on a statue and he was fingering her and yeah not a fan if i want to read smut i will read good smut this i've not been enjoying i'm not a romance girly and i didn't realize it was that much of a romance when i found it for free in a box on my street it said free box one day i may finish it as you can see i got over halfway through but yeah that scene just yeah didn't do it for me I might finish this yeah I'm gonna finish this I think so it's now Wednesday and this vlog and this week is about to well has taken an unexpected turn I have officially been signed off of work for two weeks due to my mental health I woke up yesterday and was just not in a good place was yeah my anxiety was through the fucking roof I was crying about the thought of having to go to work it was yeah I was teary all day I felt awful and decided well first of all I called in sick to work and then decided that I needed to actually seek some help so I phoned my doctors I actually managed to get a doctor's appointment for yesterday which was amazing because I don't know about doctors where you are my doctor's quite shit and normally you can't get to see them um straight away but I did and he was lovely he was really understanding um, obviously asked me questions about my mental health, how it's all been, and I've never actually sought help for it before. I've always known, like, I have anxiety and depression, but it's always been very manageable, like, it, it peaks and troughs, like, I go through stages, I think it's very situational when things happen in my life. It causes it to go up and down and normally I'm fine I can pull myself out of it but yeah it's it's been getting worse and worse especially this year with this work situation that's been happening so yeah so he signed me off for two weeks I can have more time should I need it my work does actually offer um six free counseling sessions so I'm gonna I got the number for that today so I'm gonna give them a call and sort that out and see if that helps if that doesn't help then I go back to the doctors in four to six weeks and we try some medication and see if that works I've been doing some googling obviously it's what what we all do when we have symptoms and stuff and it kind of sounds like I have I think it's called RSD rejection sensitive dysphoria that seems like what has occurred to me from this incident at work that happened so yeah that's 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 been interesting to read about it's um it's not like a neurodivergent thing apparently it's genetic which is interesting um but yeah that makes sense so when i talk to this counselor maybe I'd say that i don't know it's part of me that thinks i also might have mild ADHD but again that's <laughs> that's something I'll actually have to be diagnosed with and so yeah yesterday was a was a lot of big emotions yesterday I was I cried at the doctors as well <laughs> um anyone who knows me I'm not a big crier I don't handle emotions well like, if other people cry around me, I will probably cry. I think it's the menopause. I think the menopause has changed that. I went for a very long time not crying, and now I kind of do it at the drop of a hat. <laughs> like, I never, I never used to cry at TV shows. I've cried at many a TV show. I don't know what it was the other day that I saw a clip of, and that made me cry. It was, on, it was a TikTok of a film. 
can't remember what it was, and that, that made me tear up as well. So, yeah, I had a, because of yesterday being a very big emotion day, I've just taken today, and I've just been chilling, watching Bob's Burgers, um, made myself some food, I'll show you a clip of it, it was a bagel with bacon and cheese and hash browns and eggs doesn't really fit in the whole trying to be eating healthy kind of thing but yeah we're gonna try to be a bit gentle on ourselves actually so i've not edited my sims videos that i filmed on monday um i might do that today i might save it for tomorrow and be all try to be all productive tomorrow i didn't get out of bed till about 11 o'clock today so yeah, I think tomorrow's going to try to be productive because I've got two weeks. My second job that I do working from home, thankfully, my best friend Naomi is uh, my team leader there. So she's let me have the rest of this week off that job as well. Um, I did look into the legal standing of it and because I will be getting statutory sick pay for my main job, I, I can still work the second job as well, even though I'm off work with work-related stress and mental health issues, that job doesn't cause me that. So I am I am still like legally allowed to work that job, but now I'm gonna have this week off. So yeah, I guess instead of this being a week in the life of someone who works two jobs and has a YouTube channel and a social life, it's now a week in the life of someone who's been signed off work because they are mentally unwell. And I have been debating with myself about whether to even post this to whether to film it, but you know what? There's many people out there that struggle with their mental health. And I want people to know that they're not alone, that there are other people out there who are also struggling. So, yeah, I'll be back with you if I do anything interesting. <laughs> Probably be back with you tomorrow when I'm feeling a bit more up for being productive. Today we're just having a slow, easy day. This probably isn't the healthiest dinner with the amount of Caesar dressing that is on these leaves and the prawns are mixed with mayo <laughs> for fat mayo and sriracha. But yeah, attempting to have a healthiest dinner. Hey guys, so it's now Thursday. And how is this productive Thursday going? Not very well. It is currently 1.40 in the afternoon. I have only just got showered. Um, I have put on actual normal clothes though, instead of just getting back in my pajamas, essentially. Um, so that's a win. I have spent my morning basically sat on the sofa scrolling TikTok. Not a win. I think I'm going to have to delete that app because it's just, I can literally spend hours and hours. My day just disappears scrolling TikTok. And now we need to tidy up this mess behind me. And to do that, obviously, we need to get that hit of dopamine in. So I'm going to stick on some music and I think I'm actually going to stick on a record. So these are my records. A lot of them were my mum's that she gave me. Um, and obviously, anyone who knows me knows I get the biggest dopamine hit from these guys. And these records actually glow in the dark, which is quite cool. And now we've got our dopamine hit going. Let's tidy this kitchen. I 
Okay, that one, that song is the dopamine hit. Right fucking there. All right, so yeah, change my bedding. I'm gonna put on some washing and then edit a Sims video, actually, because it's meant to be up today and there's been no editing. And I will be happy that I've had a productive afternoon, couple of hours at least, to make me feel a bit better about today. Realised I'm actually fucking starving and if I started editing, I would then have to stop and eat something and I might not go back to it and get distracted, blah, 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 blah. So I've decided to eat now and then I will edit my video. So this is what I'm having. Not really the healthiest, but I honestly don't care right now. Um, so this is basically the same as yesterday. Bacon, cheese, hash brown. Couldn't be bothered with the egg this time because I've just cleaned my kitchen. So the bacon and the hash brown were done in the air fryer. So I've been at this editing about an hour now. Not very far into it and keep getting distracted by stuff. Yeah, and I kind of just want to lie on my sofa and not do this. But then I, the other part of me wants to be productive. And I like doing this. I like making YouTube videos. I like putting them out. I love the sim, doing Sims videos. I like vlogging as well, to be honest, I do. It's, it's like I've got company. But is it a good idea to be pushing myself to do this? I don't know who's been doing this. It's just pro procrastinating. I don't know if I have it in me to finish. I have made myself a cup of herbal tea in my favourite mug. This is a pucker tea called Joy. If only it was as easy to drink a cup of tea and feel joy. But it's quite tasty though. It's too hot to actually drink right now because I've literally just made it. But I'm going to try. It's like half past three now. So I'm going to try to do this for, I don't know, like another hour and see how far we get. And if we don't get far, then they just don't go up this week. Which I've been really trying hard to be more consistent and have obviously failed at being consistent. But... Yeah, productivity lasted a whole, like, three hours. But this is where my brain wants me to be right now. So this is where I'm going to stay. So, dinner tonight is one of the mini Goodfellas pizzas that I bought. Which, honestly, when it says mini, um, the size of my hand, right, it is fucking tiny. <laughs> Um, rest of my Caesar salad, coleslaw, cucumber, um, some olives, and I'm about to watch Baby Reindeer, which I actually saw a clip of on TikTok earlier and was confused by what it was, and then saw a BuzzFeed article about it. So now I'm going to watch it. God, I look so haggard. <laughs> Now Friday, we have reached one o'clock in the afternoon again. I have done absolutely nothing other than doom scroll on my phone. Really not good. But the sun is shining. And I think I need to go outside because I've not left the house since Monday. And that's not good. We shall see how long it takes for me to actually get ready to go outside. So I contacted the people that I can get the free counselling from through work. Um, I just sent them a message on WhatsApp because I'm, I'm not quite ready to speak to someone yet and they, they did get back to me and said that I do need to phone them 
and to be prepared for like a 40 minute phone call to start with and I'm, I'm not ready for that yet. But yeah, let's go outside. I also need to see if I can find some birthday presents for my friends because I'm going out for dinner tomorrow and there's like a, a really cool Asian shop that I've not been in yet. So we might go have a little look in there. But even that is filling me with anxiety. Like going into a shop I've never been into before. And like trying to, even trying to figure out a route to walk. Because there's going to be people everywhere. But I'll just put my sunglasses on and the headphones. And it should be okay. Yeah, outside. Obviously, I didn't want to film too much in there because, you know, people's place at work and there's people around. And annoyingly, I only spotted the fridge full of the kimchi as I was leaving. So we did get any kimchi, but I've got some goods and I will show you when I get home. God, you never see it this empty. So I'm back and I'll show you what I got. So this cost me 12.45 altogether, which I don't think is that bad, including the bag, which is honestly the cutest thing ever. So I got these, which you can get everywhere. I'm sure you can get them like home bargains and shit, but I've never actually tried them. So I wanted to try them. <laughs> I got crispy chilli oil, which I see all over social media and I've never tried it before. And as I've been having lots of eggs recently, that and some fried eggs, I think it's going to be delicious. I got, I got this Evie drink, which is um, peach flavoured, sparkling water, because, you know, I love some Pokemon and they have loads of different ones. Um, my favourite Pokemon is actually Mimikyu, because he's just a sad little bean that wants to be loved by everyone. But they didn't have him, so we've got Evie, we'll give that a taste. And then it's my friend Max's birthday tomorrow. No, today, but we're going out tomorrow. And last year she was given like a like a ramen lunchbox thing, so she can take lunches to work and have ramen in it. So I've got her loads of ramen, basically. We'll just instantly go. Whatever you want to them. So first I got these. So we used to have these in New Zealand when I lived there and I've not been able to find them anywhere. You can get them in this country, I just can't get them in Shrewsbury. And I did find them on Amazon, and they've been in my Amazon cart for ages. So I've got two packs of these, so I can have one. Now the other stuff, I have no idea what it is, because obviously it's all in foreign languages. So I just kind of grabbed random stuff. Um, she likes spicy food, so and spicy ones um, hot chicken flavor i thought the picture was really cute and then again this one is um, this one? Oh, szechuan broad noodle beef flavor and i just thought the guys looked like they were having so much fun so <laughs> i got her this one as well so yeah so for what, five eight items 12.45 that's pretty good. Let's give Evie a taste test, shall we? It's not very cold, it wasn't in a fridge, so I'll probably end up putting it in a glass with some ice. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it needs to be cold. But... Mm. And let's try one of these as well. 
Like I said, these you can get everywhere, I think, but I've never tried them, so cute. Yeah, it's good. So, do I feel better for going outside? Yes, it was very anxiety inducing, but I do feel a bit better. A bit of sun on my face, a bit of fresh air. Does that mean I'm now not going to just go sit on my ass and doom scroll on my phone again? No, but yeah. Baby steps, baby steps. So, it is now Saturday. I have done nothing again all day. Yeah. Um, I have written my friend's birthday cards and put them in a gift bag and I need to leave to meet them in an hour and this is my current state so yeah let's try to make myself slightly more presentable. Do you ever have that moment where you just hate everything about yourself? <sighs> so I just, I'm just, I've got dressed clean clothes, oh, that's, that's nice, jeans, vest top, plaid shirt, hair was not cooperating in any way, just ran a straightener through it a little bit to try to make it do something, really disliking this like pastel green I've got going on at the moment, but I'm trying to grow it out, yep, let's go eat some burgers. Why am I anxious to go see my friends? I love my friends. They're the best people. Why am I struggling to leave the house? So last night was really fun. Um, the food was amazing, Beefy Boys. If you have the Beefy Boys near you, fucking go there. The burgers are amazing. Um, was super, super anxious all the time. We went to the pub afterwards, and yeah, it was. I just wanted to come home, which I hate because I love spending time with my friends. They're all so weird, <laughs> like me. Um, so yeah, it's now Sunday. I'm gonna edit this vlog and get it up and yeah it's definitely not how I expected this week to end but tomorrow is Monday and the start of the new week and it feels really weird not going to work today and knowing I'm not I won't be going all week again so If you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching and yeah, look after yourselves guys. <laughs>